What's up everybody, it's Brando here, and we're doing a little bit of modification time. What I'm gonna do with this dart tag, um, uh, blaster, is I'm going to sawed off this handle that way and smooth out the edges to where I can make this an actual, like, pistol. So I can do, so I can holster it. And I will be building a holster as well. Um, I'll cut it off and then I'll come right back. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it really didn't take a whole lot to get that off of there. Maybe like 30 seconds. I could have actually just uh, showed it. I did a little bit of filing with my file to smooth off all the things in here. Make it kind of smoother. Um, I don't know if I'm going to cover this. Maybe take this bottom part. And, well. Yeah, I'll probably try and take this bottom piece off of this. And maybe try and epoxy it on here. Um, so, I'll be right back. Alright guys, well, you know what? Obviously, you could tell I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna break it open and we're gonna find out what's inside make this thing work Because I definitely if I'm gonna make this a handheld blaster I'm going to need to Figure out is it, What's still holding? Find out what's inside this puppy, huh? Well, oh yeah, you can tell that's got a little bit of uh, some rust in there maybe. Where is it? That the grease. Could be the grease. I'm definitely going to re-lube some stuff in here. Um, I'm going to take out the AR in here. Um, I'll be right back. Well, guys, um... A fellow nerfer fan must have taken out the uh, air restrictor already because it looks like in there when I look in there that thing has been re-lubed and there's like three little prongs in there that looks like it has been snapped off so this thing was already modified after I thrifted it so if anything I'm gonna try and take them out of see if they're in the barrel and then I'll uh, take those out as well so stay tuned all right guys the air restrictors are still in here if you can't see them but there's the little springs and everything that are in there so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hopefully quickly take the do the six screws that are holding this back plate on and then I'm going to get to it's just like if you were to do like a um, a maverick so I'm quite familiar with doing this um, you just take it apart and you pull the pieces and it should come off fairly easy unless they solvent weld them. Oh, oh, that came off really easy. Okay, so you want to keep these, the prongs. But what we don't need. Hold on. Is the. This little thing. This helps restrict the air going through. So now we take this plus the little spring off of it because you, you don't need it. <laughs> so then, and once you're done with that, you just can slide it back in. It's not going to hurt anything. So there's two next to each other. One with the air restrictor on. Now not. 
and then you just kind of push it back on there. Um, not too much force, but I think we can just uh, do this one with uh, while on camera, guys. Do a little, you know, multiplication. Ah. And just pull them all off. They usually come off pretty easy. I mean, you could take these all out. I don't like to. I like to still have the, the shaft on the inside for the dart to go in. Kind of stabilizes it and doesn't move it as much. Okay, make sure they're all on there pretty good. All right, got them all back on. So now it's all about lining the, uh, the screws back on. gonna have to make sure you know you hmm of course um, make sure that all the springs get all the way out yeah that was just a rogue spring cool put that on just right cool so now we're just going to tighten up these screws real quick. That was me trying to fast forward, but not really fast forwarding. Um, this is my first full day off of my vacation. Um, this was just kind of like a random thought through the BBR that I did last Thursday. Um, thinking about, you know, hey, this would actually make a nice, for a, you know, not practical war, if you weren't too serious, let's put it that way, in a war, and you just wanted something that had more rounds than seven, um, now I just increased probably five, ten feet, off taking out the air restrictors in the barrel um, you really don't once you do that you don't want to dry fire it a whole lot um, it's kind of frowned upon people don't you, it's not good for the blaster it's just not now let's hope I can put this back in here correctly it up no just kidding guys I didn't mess it up I knew how it went in or do I um Spinny thing still goes spinny, spinny, spinny. Cool. So now it's all about putting this piece back in properly. All proper and such. Where does that one go? I don't know. Will that go? No! Stupid spring. Alright guys. I'm gonna come right back. I don't think you guys want to see all that junk. Ah! I got it back in there. So this is what the internals look like. Sort of. Um, basically that little metal rod in there is what you hook the spring to so it can retract back and then it also um, pulls back and primes the priming mechanism <coughs> sorry 
All right, so I'm going to put it back together and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I put it back together, but I was having problems with this uh, barrel turning. So what I figured out is this, come into focus, come to focus, this piece right here. This is actually spring loaded and it butted up into here and I didn't have it back into this slot properly. So the, the, um, the rotating of the barrel wasn't fully engaged all the way. So I'm going to put it back together again because now I've tested pulling the trigger. And we're going to come back in a minute. Alright guys, well it is complete. Everything rotates. It works. It is functional. I'm going to clean up my little area here. So now... We're going to go to the recently added to the two there, um, BS range. So we're going to do a little movie magic. Same as before, 20 feet away, straight arm. Here is the new modified dart tag sawed off front um, handle grip hyperfire dart tag. I don't know. So shot one. Not bad. Shot three. Shot four. Shot five. Shot six. Shot seven. Shot eight. Shot nine. And shot ten. Okay, everybody. This thing, Ooh. movie magic. All right, everybody. So this was my mod this for Mod on Mondays. BS Mod, here with Brando Mod, whatever, work on the name. Um, this definitely, I gotta put a little something down there. Might give it a little painty paint job, who knows? Um, but this thing, like, it was, Cracking like in maybe two and a half, like consistently it was just hitting like the center target, that area, probably about a two foot radius. It actually narrowed it. I felt that these things were coming out a lot faster than my other video. I'll go back and watch that one too, if you'd like to. It's uh, BBR number five. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. If you got any ideas, tips, hints that you want to give me let me know in the comments below hit that like button if you hit that dislike still lets me know you're watching please subscribe tell all your friends and until next time bye